Good evening and welcome to another V Rising video. This is going to be showcasing how to get the hard to find slash rare resource Scourge Stone. First, I'm going to be showing you how I usually get Scourge Stone and how I've been getting it since launch, um, basically naked. So the minute I get to, uh, to T2, right, I can just go for some Scourge Stone. I can hang out. It's very easy to get um, on the, the very first day of a server being active. You can easily create siege golems and, you know, on a fresh wipe, you could be easily sieging day one with the strategy. You don't have to go to, uh, to tier three cursed forest or do some, some weird grindable route where you got to kill a bunch of monsters and run around a ton. And, you know, obviously these are, uh, PVP hotspots here, the ancient villages and whatnot. And, you know, the church of the damned, there's one or two from an undead commander. And then in the haunted iron mine, there's one or two from the undead commander. Uh, this is actually the super easy way to do it. It's called doing Dunley monastery naked. So what you're going to do is you're going to just get into wolf form or get a horse or, you know, really whatever it is that you want to do. And there's certain strategies I've employed that help me, um, you know, come home successful. But here we are going to show you the best possible route for ensuring you will survive Dunley Monastery and any nearby PVP encounters. So we are going to... Put our horse right over here on the back cliff. And if anyone chases you, be they monsters or people, you're going to face your horse away from the cliff. Uh, and then ready to run in a good direction. So that looks good. He's going to take off that way. We'll curve to the left. And you can see there's other horses here. So other people have figured this out. But for the most part, this is essentially a fool, foolproof plan, excuse me, on how to get free Scourge Stones. And the first one we're going to do um, is just grabbing one or two so we can make a Holy Resistance Potion. And then after we grab one or two, so uh, there's two Grave Dust, no Scourge Stone. No problem, there's another container right here. Let's take a look at this one. Boom, two Scourge Stone. Well, that was easy. So now um, we would go to the cliff, right? And we would jump on the horse and escape if we had our holy resistance potion on. But I'm going to kind of show you the entire process here, right? And you could do this naked. It's just a bit more challenging. So there is your first two scourge stones. Doing these runs, I've gotten up to 15 scourge stones in one baby run. So we're just going to run back to base really quick. And what you would do is you would have inside of your base an alchemy lab, which the majority of players have once they reach tier two. And then you would use that alchemy lab and your two scourge stone and some morning lilies, which you actually also get inside the monastery or in any graveyard or cemetery. I've already brought one from my tier one base as I'm just kind of starting the game here and moving into tier two. But realistically, you could do this in tier one. As I said, you could do it naked. I have done it naked on stream. Got a, a nice little defensive tree right there. Anyway, you would put your Scourge Stone right, away, right? Or you would use that plus some flowers to craft this Holy Resist Potion. And then you're going to drink the Holy Resistance Potion, so you're no longer going to be taking Holy Radiation Damage inside the Monastery for 30 minutes. That is an extremely long amount of time. And I'm just going to show you one full run of what it looks like to raid the Tier 2 Dunley Monastery, essentially naked, here at level 23. And I'm just going to show you the route. There's several containers that have Scourge Stones in them, almost always. And I'm talking one to three Scourge Stones per container. So you're going to be looking at quite a few, usually between 8 and 15. You could probably get lucky and get more, but just the highest I've seen was 15. And not only are there lootable containers like those that you just saw, the stone coffins, but there are also chests and golden locked chests. And all of those also contain rare mats. 
So here we go, diving back in, right? So these are the morning lilies. You could easily just walk in here naked and punch a couple of those. There's your two containers over here on the left side. There's one container right here at the top of the stairs. Boom, three scourge stones. Wow, that was easy. Oh, a chest. No way. I'll take that. No scourge stones that time, though, unfortunately. Better, better put up our shield here. Taking a look around. We're looking, uh, looking for some more chests, right? Getting burned by silver. Dislike that. Look at all those quartz. You could be getting hundreds of quartz with your mace, right? Boom, we're doing 25 more damage to the quartz with our mace than any other weapon. 25% more mineral damage. And then you would be taking the quartz and you would be smelting it with some other items into a beautiful green brick of Scourge Stone. Got a bunch of mobs coming. No problem, right? We'll just go on the left side of this container. Up. Yeah. Gravestones are in the way. That almost killed us. But that's right. You know, we're one shot. So obviously there is some risk associated here. But if you don't take crazy risks, it usually won't bother you that much. We got a little boss over here. What's he up to? Is he protecting any chests? Normally there's a lot of chests in here, but this time there actually are not any, unfortunately. And this is, again, at level 23, fam. So if you were a higher level, this would be no problem, right? You could easily fight all these monsters. You could do whatever you wanted. Sometimes there's also chests here in this courtyard. There just doesn't happen to be any this time. And so overall, this run was a little bit less successful than usual, right? We only ended up with six Scourge Stones. But six is a lot. For that very short run that we just did through the monastery, we managed to pick up almost half of what we need to make a Siege Golem. And half of what you need, you know, a little bit less than half of what you need to make your Tier 3 Dark Silver Weapon. So, Scourge Stones, very easy to come by. Of course, there's the other routes, right? There's the grind routes. But this is the, the relaxing, just have a Holy Resistance Potion on kind of route. And you have to have it on anyway to fight the boss that's in here. And so, you can just run the route very simply over and over and over. Obviously, you have to wait for everything to respawn. But other than that, quite simple. So, I hope this helps anybody. If it even helps one person, then I'll be super glad that I made the video. That is how you get Scourge Stone the easiest way at a lower level without really having to fight any monsters whatsoever. And I'll see you guys next time for another V-Rising video.